in every organization there is an arrangement of people according to their responsibility and authority. Now, even in the school system you have your teachers and then you have vice principal and then you have a principal and then maybe you have some director or the management. Now, this is called hierarchy. When we are classifying plants and animals also, then also there is a kind of hierarchy. First of all, there is kingdom like plant kingdom or the animal kingdom. In the case of animals, the next level is phylum. But in the case of plants, we call it division. After this, there is class, then order, then family, genus, and finally, species. Like your individual name or an individual. Now, if we take the case of say one country, India, all the inhabitants of India are called Indians. They, why they are called like that? Because they have a large number of similarities. As we move from top to bottom, the number of similarities keep on increasing. So, obviously, in species, there are maximum number of similarities. So much so, that the organisms belonging to same species can reproduce. They can mate with each other and perpetuate. When we are writing a scientific name, just like human beings, they use their individual name and the surname. Surname is the name of the clan. But usually, except of course South, the name, individual name is written first and then the family name. But in the case of plants and animals, we first write the family name. So, first we write the name of the genus like Rosa. The scientific name is Rosa of Rose and first letter is capital. And species is Indica. The first letter is small. So, if we want to write the scientific name of rose, how will we write? Rosa indica. First genus, then species. So, every or plant or animal has two names. This is called binomial nomenclature. By means to nomenclature is the system of naming. With the help of binomial nomenclature, all living organisms have been named. These names are usually taken from Greek or Latin, so that they are understood universally. All scientists, all biologists can understand a scientific name, but if we will use the names of various languages, probably they will not be able to understand. Why talk of world? Even within India, we will not be able to understand the name if it is used in some other language which we do not know. So, we use a universal language of scientific names.